All right, cool. Welcome to Wednesday's team training. I'm super excited for these weekly team trainings to share with you um, kind of what's working for each of us and help all of you grow and um, create momentum and take steps towards your goals and to finish this year strong, as well as set up um, the year for 2021 up for success, right? To build that momentum leading into the new year. So Today, my topic is speaking on consistency and how um, our habits are either consistently taking us towards our goals or the lack of action, the consistency and lack of action is consistently taking us away from our goals, okay? And I wanna start with um, this story that it was actually really kind of fitting in what made me change uh, my topic for today. I originally was gonna speak on, I think, adding followers or something like that. Um, but I got this message from a girl on Instagram and it's what sparked me to um, shift my topic. So, um, oh no, it cut out. Kate said it cut out. Um, well, I'm just going to roll with it and I'll put the, the, um, the um, recording in our team page. So, okay. Um, moving on. Got to stay focused because I will get squirreled. Okay. So this girl messaged me. Um, she is a rep for an, another MLM. Um, she cold messaged me and asked if I was interested in using her products, if I was interested in selling the products. Um, and um, another paragraph about, you know, I know that this is a cold message and I don't really mean it to feel that way, but this um, has really uh, changed my life and this opportunity, blah, 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 like kind of talking about how she's super passionate about this product and, and all this and that. And she actually had messaged me a couple of weeks ago, but because it went into like my other box, I didn't see it. So when I actually went and replied back to her, um, I said, Hey, you know, I'm really sorry that I missed your message. Um, I appreciate you reaching out. Um, I'm, I'm really not interested in, in using that product at this time, but I do appreciate you reaching out and I wish you the best of luck. And she replied back to me, um, that she's no longer selling the product because I let her know I was a Beachbody coach. Um, and I just said, you know, I, I'm already doing my own thing with Beachbody and I don't have any interest in selling the product. So um, I wish you the best of luck. And so she replied and said how she's no longer selling the product and that she tried for three months selling the product and never had any luck. And, and then she went on to tell me that she's tried like six or seven other MLMs, including Beachbody. And then said, I just don't think MLMs are for me. And so that kind of triggered something because I'm like, oh, okay, like I get it. Like, whatever, like it is what it is. Um, I'm sorry that she feels that way. And maybe they're not. Um, but it it made me think about how quickly we can become discouraged. You guys, she went from two weeks ago telling me how amazing these products are and how it's totally changed her life to now the business is too hard and it's not convenient. So she's not going to do it anymore. And that the business isn't for her and neither have the six or seven other businesses that she's tried because she's never had success. You guys, let's be really, really honest with ourselves. This business does not happen overnight. We don't see growth overnight. So if you are already telling yourself in your mind, when you write down a goal or that you want to be emerald or you want to hit diamond or you, whatever your goals are, if you're already saying it's hard, I'm not going to reach it, um, whatever, that's exactly what's going to happen. You are going to stay in your own head and you are not going to create momentum and success in this business because your mind is going to stop you every time it gets a little hard, okay? So that's why I wanted to speak on um, consistency and the, the reality check that this business is hard, yes, it's hard. You know, some of you maybe are just here because you want the accountability and you want to have the community and the friendships and you're just kind of in it for like a hobby or as extra support and girlfriend, do you 
that was me in the beginning and that is perfectly fine. If that is what your goal is, nobody is telling you that that is not okay. But I also know that there are many of you in this team who have huge, big, audacious goals to retire from your full-time job, to create freedom in your life, to retire your husband, to move back home to be closer to your families, to create the life that you see the other coaches, top coaches in the industry living. That does not come easily. That, my friends, is hard, okay? That takes showing up when you don't want to. That takes being disciplined when you don't want to. Just like, okay, um, just like in your wellness journey, it is not easy to start working out and to push your, yourself harder in your workouts, to be disciplined with food, to wake up early in the morning, to get on the virtual gym and get that me time in before everything else starts and all the different paths of the day, mom, wife, housekeeper, all of those things start distracting you and pulling you in all the different directions, right? That is not easy. But you have somewhere along the way found, you're going to have to go because you're going to distract me and I'm going to lose my train of thought. Okay. Let me finish this video. All right, bud. Okay. <laughs> so please. Okay. So somewhere along the way, you have attached an emotion, a why, a reason that you're showing up to wake up early, to choose healthier foods, to move your body and push play in your workouts. Maybe you're getting results, but those results didn't just happen, right? You have created those results, but the actions that you have been taking are why you're getting those results, why you're seeing that momentum, why you're feeling better, why you're moving forward towards your wellness goals. So you have decided that it's worth showing up for, for whatever reason. Your why, the reason that you're doing that is bigger than the hard. It's bigger than hitting snooze. It's bigger than sleeping in. It's bigger than having the cake and the ice cream or the, the fried foods or whatever. Because you have started to experience how good it feels to make the, the choices that are going to help you move towards those results, right? You've already decided because you've started to experience that. So the same thing in our business as our wellness journey, we have to decide and we have to get our mind right why we're doing this. And we have to decide how much effort do we want to put in for this? Because I'm going to be really, really honest with you, okay? Because I am only doing you a disservice if I am not honest with you. If you want to retire from your job or you want to create a, a substantial income with this business to help alleviate some of the stress that you have in your life, if you want to be able to... Um, to all the distractions right now. If you want... Will you go out that way? It's Colton. If you want to be able to retire your husband from his job and have the freedom in the life that you, you're dreaming up in your mind, oh, buddy, that new lock is up. So you're going to have to go out through the garage. I promise we will get through this. It's going to be way longer than 10 minutes. Okay. So um, when you want to achieve those things, that is not going to happen by doing the bare minimum, okay? By working an hour a day, by coming in and out and working here and there, and, and maybe it's, it's a priority, maybe it's not. If you want those big audacious goals, you're going to have to get really freaking disciplined, okay? That is going to take massive action, okay? Just like if you want rocking abs and you want the six pack, that's not going to just happen by being, eh, I'll show up for my nutrition once in a while and I'll push play on my workout three or four days a week and, and then just expect it to happen because that ain't going to happen. And we all know that, but we put these big goals out there and we just kind of like, 
okay, put that goal out there. Like we're just gonna wish it to happen. Guys, you're just gonna become super discouraged and you're gonna get down on yourself. And then you're gonna be like, well, I guess it's not for me because it's not working. Purchasing BOD is not going to give you results. You have to put in the work, okay? So that's what I want you to understand is that we really have to create consistency in the habits and the actions that are going to move us towards the goals that we want to achieve, okay? If you're just wanting to create a little bit of extra money, maybe to pay for groceries, maybe for a car payment, maybe student loans, little things here and there. Then you guys, an hour, hour and a half a day, um, five to six days a week, you are absolutely and consistently showing up every day. You're absolutely going to achieve that goal. Okay. But if you have bigger goals of making a couple, a thousand, a couple thousand a week or more, let me just tell you, that's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take giving up TV. It's going to take saying no to going out and doing something that might seem more fun at the time to get disciplined with your goals. It's going to take waking up a little bit earlier or maybe hustling a little bit harder at night. Okay. But the consistency is the biggest, biggest piece. And I will just preface the, the tips I'm going to go into what? You're going to Becca and Brianna. Okay. Um, preface this by saying that there are absolutely seasons of hustle. Okay. Seasons that like, let's look back to July when we were in team cup and we were all like just nailing it. Right. We were really super laser focused. And then there are seasons when the kids go back to school or maybe the, with the holidays coming up that we might back off a little bit because we need to keep our sanity and we need to still have me time and time for our family and all the things, but we still have to keep showing up. Okay. We cannot just disappear. And then when we decide it's convenient for us again, come back in and be like, Oh, I'm going to hustle, hustle, hustle. And after two weeks of hustle go, I'm not seeing results guys. It doesn't work that way. And our followers see that. And even if they're not liking and commenting on your things, they are watching you. Okay. So if you're in and out and super flaky, they're probably going to connect with a coach who's showing up a bit more consistently. And that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice all your time again, like I just said, but it does mean you have to show up consistently. Think about your favorite store, your department store, or maybe you love Starbucks or whatever. If you went there and you really wanted to have whatever, what, let's, let's use Starbucks for an example. I don't go to Starbucks, but um, I feel like it's a good example. You really wanted this latte is a sweet treat. It just sounded amazing. And you've been kind of waiting to treat yourself. And so you go there and they're closed. Well, shit, I really wanted to have that that nice little latte or whatever. So you're in the area again a couple days later and you're like, oh, they're open. So you stop and you treat yourself. Okay. And then a couple of weeks goes by and you think you want to stop in and treat yourself again. And they're not open again. Wouldn't you become a little frustrated as a consumer and somebody who wants to invest in that company that they're really unreliable? That they've now been closed twice when you've gone to look or to consume their product. So we as coaches, our social media platform is our storefront. It's our brand. That's our product. That's what our followers and potential prospects are consuming. Okay. So when we don't show up on stories, when we don't show up on our social media posts at least once a day, even in the hard. And we just say life is really hard, but I am working on X, Y, and Z, whatever. We're not going to get into post content. When somebody comes to your page and they've been watching and they're super excited and they're ready for their them, they're finally ready, ready because they've been watching you and you haven't posted in a week or a couple days. They're going to be like, Hmm, wonder what's going on. 
and then you pop back in and then you're out and then you pop back in and then you're out. Can you kind of see how people are already inconsistent and indecisive on their own? So when they're looking for someone to help them take new steps in a journey that they already in their head know is going to take consistency and discipline and something different than what they've always done, which is float in and out, they're going to find somebody who stays in. Okay. So that's, it's, I used to call it tough love. I no longer t- call it tough love because it's love. I'm telling you guys these things for a reason. I don't tell you this to degrade you or make you feel bad or make you feel like a failure. I tell you this because this is what is going to help you grow, where you can see where improvements can be made to to achieve the goals that you want. So you aren't feeling discouraged and doubting yourself and like a failure and like this isn't working for you. These are the actions that are going to help you create that consistency and the momentum to build that belief within yourself. Okay. So I don't even know because I just went with it. And with all the distractions, I don't even know where I'm at in my notes. But the first step to creating the consistency and actually showing up for yourself is creating that why. Okay. Attach that emotional reason. that's going to make you show up when it gets hard, because I promise you it's going to get hard. Okay. So, um, the first, so my, my tips, I have five tips. Okay. The one is to figure out your why sit down, no children coming in and out (laughs) and mocking you and asking you a million questions or children knocking at the door. Okay, maybe this will be perfect for um, morning time before you work out. Sit down and really be honest with yourself. What do you want this, this business to be the vehicle for? Okay, because you don't have to, to live beach body, but if you have really big goals to help other women feel as good as you do when you're really killing it and you're doing good and you love the community and you want to create some freedom within your life, what does that look like for you? What does the perfect day look like for you? What do you want to work towards? Okay. And why? What is that deep connection that you want to achieve? Is it for your family? Is it for you? Is it for both? But it's got to be something for you too. Okay. So tip number one is to find your why. Then just like I do every single morning and I put it in my stories, visualize. You have to visualize yourself living it, being in it and starting to act as if you were already there, okay? You have to start building that belief because nine times out of 10, there are things on that list that you really, really want to achieve and you really want to have in your life. But when life gets hard or you're maybe down, Our mind starts playing games with us and our mind tries to keep us safe and keeps us comfortable. So we have to empower those big goals every single day by rereading them and writing them out in affirmations and writing them out in a journal, whatever works for you. But you have to visit that why and your mission every single day, okay? That's non-negotiable because that's what's gonna get this right. Okay. Tip number two is mindset. These two go together. We have to do the personal development and the growth. The people that we are right now is not who we're going to be when we get to one of those big goals. You guys, I am not the same person I was when I was an Emerald coach. I am not the same person I was when I hit diamond coach. I am not the same person right now that I'm going to be when we are a five-star freaking badass team taking names and helping women believe in themselves. I am growing to her just like you're growing to Emerald and you're growing to Diamond and you're growing to being free from all the bullshit. Okay. But it takes empowering your mind and doing the work. Okay. So positive affirmations, Build, work on building the belief um, because there is going to be days that it's hard and that you will face self-doubt and 
we'll just put it out there. There are going to be naysayers because when you do big things in life, you make other people really uncomfortable because they start thinking to themselves, all the goals that they want to achieve in life, but they're too afraid to do it. So be the example, be the example that it can be done, not in despite of, or haha, look what I did. Do it to show them when you do the work and you show up, you will achieve your goals. Okay. Just like we do with our wellness journey. When you show up for your nutrition and you show up for your workout and you do the work, you get the results. Okay. Tip number three, set work hours. Gosh, this is so, so important. We are our own bosses. We don't have someone to check in with us and to make sure that we're doing our work. So we have to become disciplined to do the work. Okay. If you go to a nine to five job, your, your boss is making sure they're not just writing you a check. If you didn't show up for work, they're making sure that you were there from nine to five, right? That is not my job or your upline's job to make sure that you're showing up to do the work. We provide the resources. We will help give you guidance, but it is your job as the CEO of your business to set your business hours, look at your schedule, what works for you, what are you going to give up and sacrifice so that you can make it fit into your schedule to achieve your goals, okay? So set work hours. Um, and then, uh, and then I just have that we have to create the discipline to do the work. Um, number four is to set goals that you can stick with, okay? So if you are intimidated by inviting, don't put 20 invites a day on your list because that's super overwhelming. And then guess what you're going to do? Nothing. You're not going to show up. So if inviting right now is super overwhelming for you, three to five invites a day. Start small, but you have to start somewhere. Okay. So start with three to five invites a day and then increase that number as you start doing it consistently. Maybe you do that for two weeks. And then after two weeks, you set a goal to do five to 10 invites. And then after that, you set a goal for 10 plus, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. I'm just going to be honest with you. A magic number is 50 plus invites a week. Don't let that overwhelm you because you have to start somewhere, but to really build momentum because not everybody's going to be ready. The reality is, is that one in 10 people is ready when you speak to them. And that might be a little bit more, one in 15. Um, so you, you have to talk to enough people and build enough relationships to create that momentum. But set goals that you can stick with and then make sure you're tracking. You guys, you can, I shared, and I'll, I'll share it in the comments below, um, my blocks for the day, because I work in, I think I have five different blocks throughout the day and I check them off as I go. And that makes sure that like I'm getting my work done and it's doing the vitals, but I have um, a little bubble sheet in my phone in a note section that I check them off as I go. And I'm gonna share that in the comments because maybe that'll help. There are, if you go to the units section of the, the team page, you will see there are a million different trackers. I personally use Kate Ballard's, um, I think, it, yeah, it's Kate. It might be Katie. I think it's Kate Ballard. What do I even say on here? It's Kate oh, Bulliards. I always say that wrong. It's Kate, K-A-T-E, Bullard, B-U-L-L-A-R-D, designs.com. So eh, you can't really see it because my light is shining. I've shared it before. This is what I personally use. There's a success tracker. Like there, there's no excuse to not have a tracker to know what to do. I even have the win the morning tracker. Start there. But you have to start somewhere and know what you're doing so that we know what we need to focus more on. Okay. So um, track your efforts. Um, just like we have to empower, oh, celebrate the wins. So when you do something good, don't go, oh, I didn't get 50 invites. Oh, I'm such a failure. Go, I got 10 invites out this week. That's way better than last week. We have to celebrate the wins. Okay. We have to celebrate the small steps forward or we're never going to get to where we're really working to go. Just like in your wellness journey, if you don't celebrate the fact that you turned down a donut and ate your, your, or drank your Shakeology or you ate the breakfast that you planned, you're never going to empower yourself to keep moving forward. Okay. And then number five, 
this, this is the last one. Um, and then I'm gonna let you go because it went way longer than I expected. So number five is to know that there are seasons of fire and there are seasons of grace. And I already kind of touched on that. That just simply means that there are seasons that you are killing it. You see great momentum, you are in it and you feel like, oh my God, I'm unstoppable. And you go, 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 go. And then there are seasons that life is busy. Life is hard. You are maybe feeling drained and tired. Maybe the baby's keeping you up. Maybe the family has been sick. Maybe you've been traveling. Those are seasons of grace. But in those seasons of grace, we still have to make sure we're showing up consistently. Okay, that we're still getting at least the vitals done every single day. I love you girls. I believe in every single one of you. One of the things I missed over is the fact that every single one of you on this team has a powerful message to share. And every single one of you is worthy and capable of crazy, massive success. Absolutely. I believe it 100% in my heart. You have to believe it. You have to believe it and you have to tap into what gets you excited and why you're working for that. If you need some help with mindset, listen to that call from Meg that I just shared I, like two days ago in this page. Okay. Do the work. I promise you, if you trust the process and you show up every single day and lean into this team, you will create more success than you ever knew possible. And in a year from now, you will be a totally different person than who is sitting here watching this video. And you can come back and watch and you will say, yes, I am. Corey was right. But you have to do the work. Okay. So my challenge to you is figure out what your why is. Figure out what you want this business to be the vehicle for. Tap into it. Start believing it. Breathe it. Know it. Start feeling it. Start living it. And I promise you, just like I dreamt of sitting in this house I'm sitting in right now, I, like I'm here. Five years ago, didn't think it was a possibility. Five years ago, uh, five and a half years ago when we were a little less than five years ago, whatever, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Five and a half years ago, this was just a dream. Now we're here. Five years ago, when we made it happen, I didn't love the house. Now I really love the house. It's taken time, but we've paid cash for everything that we have done this year because of this business. So dare to dream big, get out of your own damn way and put in the work. You will see the results just like you see the results in the wellness journey when you put in the work. Okay. I love you.